Um, hey guys, it's Tuesday, and seeing as how I am the lowest viewed person on this channel, I'm just going to make my video about what I want today. <laughs> I'm not actually upset about that. I just really wanted to make a video about boxing who don't know boxing has kind of been a staple in america for quite some time boxing is still one of the most revered sports in american history so in the past couple of years boxing has been on somewhat of a downturn through scandals about people cheating about people doping about these big personalities that kind of try to override the sport and make it about them there has been a small group of people who have tried to maintain what the sport was from the time that it became an American staple in the early 1900s until now in 2011. The two main fighters in this movement have been fighters by the name of Manny Pacquiao and Sugar Shane Mosley. So Sugar Shane Mosley is a 39 year old brawler who is going against the pound for pound best fighter in the world in what will most likely be his last fight ever. Manny Pacquiao is the quintessential rags to riches story bringing himself up from selling cigarettes single singular cigarettes like you know you can have one of these for like a couple pennies to making millions of dollars by by fighting people and beating the living snot out of them and becoming the number one best fighter in the world and guess what's going on on May 7th and guess what's going on on May 7th guess what did you guess that they're fighting each other because if you did then you're right I'm sorry, when it comes to boxing, I kind of geek out like John. I think that was technically what could be called a Sarah moment. Overall, what makes me excited about this fight is not whether or not it's going to be a really good fight. Because in all likelihood, Manny Pacquiao is absolutely going to destroy Sugar Shane Mosley. What makes me excited about this is that this is a chance to take over boxing and show that boxing is about true heart. Much in the way that the Arturo Gotti... Mickey Ward fight in uh, the early 2000s did. For those of you who are not sports related, it's kind of like when Scott Pilgrim vs. the World came out the same weekend as Eat, Pray, Love and The Expendables. It's a chance to show that what is most important to the people and what is most important to the industry itself is not making the most money. It's in putting forward the best product. Sugar Shane Mosley last year fought a man by the name of Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is known to be one of the brashest, most insane people in the history of boxing. He is incredibly fast, he is very strong, but he does not box. He knows how to throw pot shots and then run away from you. When Sugar Shane Mosley fought him, in the second round he hit an amazing right hand right across Mayweather's face. And Mayweather got hurt. Mayweather then got so scared that he grabbed onto Shane Mosley's arm like this and refused to let go until he could get his bearings back. That is not what my sport is about. My sport that I know and that I love is about fighting. And it's about showing the heart that you have to keep going. What makes movies like The Fighter and Rocky and Cinderella Man so great is not that you get to watch people beat the snot out of each other. It's that you get to see people who have brought themselves up from nothing, from having no money at all. When Manny Pacquiao first started fighting, he was not only underage, he was underweight. He was 16 years old when you're supposed to be 18 to fight professionally, and he was 98 pounds when the minimum weight was 105. Boxing is not about fighting. Boxing is about heart. That's why I love this sport. It's because when you see these people get beaten up for 10 rounds and go as far as any human can possibly go, to see that they still have the, the will, the courage, the audacity to keep going, to keep fighting because it's truly all they know that's that just that gets me i cannot wait to be watching this fight and to be standing three feet from the screen just yelling at my at my tv just trying to get into the action 
as much as I want to be into the action. When I played sports, I knew it wasn't the best, but I always wanted to be the guy who tried the hardest. I never wanted to be that guy that somebody could look at and said, you know, you could have given a better effort today. I wanted to throw everything I had into every performance I gave. And that's what these guys do. They throw everything they have. They give all of their energy. That's why they keep fighting well past their prime, because they think they can still do it. They think they can still fight. They ignore everything that tells them otherwise, and they continue to keep going. That is why I love this sport, because Manny Pacquiao brought himself up from being a nobody growing up in the slums of the Philippines to being the most revered man in the Philippines, being the pound for pound best fighter in the world, being a congressman while still fighting, and possibly becoming president one day of the Philippines. To those who say that sports don't matter, I point to the effect that it has on the countries unlike ours. To the countries that that find their that find their comfort in it. Because in some countries, it's literally all they have. When Manny Pacquiao fought Oscar De La Hoya, there was a bill put through Congress that said that Manny Pacquiao would not be allowed to leave the country to fight for fear of him losing. These people don't have clean water. They don't have sturdy homes. They have many bigger needs that they need to worry about. But at the end of the day, they still care more about sports than they do about their own lives because that is what gives them hope. To see Manny Pacquiao go out there and fight and do the same thing that he did for two dollars a fight that he did that he does for millions of dollars a fight so i'm going to go and rory i will see you tomorrow